In this video we're going to find the volume of a cone region that I've drawn here, this blue cone sitting below the plane z equal to 1, and we're going to calculate it as a multiple integral. One way to do that is a triple integral in rectangular coordinates, and we'd need to integrate the function 1, and I've chosen an order of integration here rather arbitrarily, dx, dy, and then dz last. Let's uh, establish the formulas for these surfaces that we're seeing. z squared equal to x squared plus y squared is a cone. It would have a negative portion as well, part, some part below the x-y axis, but I'm just going to look at it between uh, starting at z greater than or equal to 0 and then going up to this red plane that I've drawn z equal to 1. We want to find the volume of that blue cone. Because I've chosen to do the z last, that means I should probably determine those uh, limits of integration first. And it's pretty easy to uh, guess what's going on here. If I think about z equal to 0, that's at this bottom plane, the xy plane, and then think about moving that plane vertically parallel to the z-axis through the region until I get to the top at z equal to 1. As I do so, I will pass through each point of the region exactly once, and I will see every point of that region. That tells me my limits of integration for z go from z equal to 0 to z equal to 1. Once I've established that, what I might do now is to think about a typical value of z in that range between 0 and 1. And graphically, that means to take a slice at that height. So here's the height z that I've chosen. I'm going to take a plain slice of it, and that's going to determine a circular slice of this cone. I'm going to draw that in the xy plane. At that height z, the equation for the circle that I'm seeing in that plane's slice will be determined by whatever my z value is, and I'm going to have x squared plus y squared is z squared, so it's just a circle with radius z. And I've drawn that here. Because I have the limits of integration to be y next, I'm going to determine those y limits, and because it's a circle of radius z, it's going to be y from negative z to y to positive z. And so that will be my y limits of integration. Now let's fix a generic value of uh, y in between those two. So graphically, that means to draw some horizontal line at that y value. And it's going to enter at this red circle, exit at that red circle there. And I need to determine the x values for where those red circles are. Well, I'll just take the circle that they live on, the equation for that circle that they live on, and solve for the x-coordinate. So if z, is, z squared is equal to that, and I solve for x, x is plus or minus the square root of their difference. And that means the negative root will be that left side, and the positive root will be that right side, and that means that my x values range between those two radicals. And that tells me my limits of integration for x. As an exercise, you might try doing it in a different order of integration. You might try doing dx, dz, and dy, or dz, dx, and dy, and I think it would be a good way to uh, see whether or not you understood how we did this calculation.